Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just doing a pickups video. I wasn't going to do a pickups video this week uh, because I'm going to be working on the shelves all weekend. However, I had some crazy pickups during the week, so uh, this might take a little bit. I'll try and get through some of it as quick as possible, and then there's some really cool stuff uh, towards the end. I'm uh, going to start out with all the free stuff that I got this week, uh, starting out with PC games. The Sims House Party Expansion Pack, Commandos Strike Force, Conflict and Denied Ops, the Last Remnant by Square Enix. Now, I've heard that I should try this game. DVD for Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Uh, two copies of Rogue Trooper. And four copies of Dungeon Siege 3 Sealed. So that's PC. Moving on to Xbox because it's uh, rather short. Got a DVD controller, a Sonic Mega Collection Plus, just the disc, but it is immaculate. Halo green Xbox controller. And that's it for Xbox. Moving on to... Oh crap, I don't know. We'll go to PlayStation 2. Got the uh, Mad Cats multi-tap for the uh, PS2 Slim. Two memory cards. NBA Live 2002, uh, FIFA 06 Soccer, and that's it for PS2. Alright, moving on to Nintendo products, just going to kind of go over that. A Sonic case for the DSi, the little Nyko gun thing, perfect shot for the Wii. The Lynx crossbow training, a scratched up but working uh, Nyko Wii remote. The Action Replay DSi with uh, disc and cable. Uh, metal arms glitch in the system. Smashing drive. This lovely plaque that tells you how to use the 3DS. Just in case you didn't know. And last but certainly not least, Xenoblade Chronicles art book. Five of them. Oh, let's go to the 360 stuff. For the 360, one of the little uh, data pads. Forza 2, NBA 2K12, uh, Fallout New Vegas, the Ultimate Edition, uh, both discs in there. Don't really know where this goes in, but uh, Dragon Quest, let's see, I can't read that backwards. Four chapters of The Chosen, strategy guide. It's a uh, real kind of beat up, apparently whoever uh, had it before me used it really well. Okay, now on to stuff that I actually uh, purchased. Starting out with, uh, I had a coupon at Movie Trading Company. So I picked up uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Uh, in case you don't know, I'm going through all of the Final Fantasy games. And so I picked up that and got uh, Onimusha 3 for free. And then later on, I already had the cases and manuals, so I picked up uh, Onimusha Warlords and Onimusha 2 Samurai's Destiny from GameStop and put them in the cases. And now I have the first three games for whenever I get around to actually playing them, which I don't know when that'll be. But, got those. Uh, and then... Picked this up at half price books for $3.99 Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I probably won't actually use it, but I like to have it around. Then it's actually kind of cool just to have the reference material. That's got some nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, semi gaming related, they had a. Uh, Xenosaga, the animation, the original soundtrack, and as you can see it was on clearance for two dollars, so I uh, snapped it up. I'm kind of becoming a big fan, oh look at that, That's... I don't know if this is going to come through, but that is just a beautiful, oh god it doesn't do it justice. Oh well, if you ever, if you ever see this 
look at the CD. Just, just saying. All right, and the last thing, no, second to the last thing, really cool thing coming up. Second to the last thing uh, is a sleeve kit for my DS. Uh, I'm a fan of the Clone Wars. I think it's one of the better things that they've been doing. I think it's because I loved uh, Star Wars Republic Commando so much, and I don't have my copy with me. Uh, but I decided, I looked at it, and I was like, eh, for six bucks, because currently I just have my uh, DS in that sleeve, the, the blue sleeve that comes with uh, the club Nintendo points. So decided to grab that. Now, are you sitting down? I'm gonna go get it. Sit down. All right. So there's a place that I go, uh, and not many people know about it, so I won't tell you where it is. And they've got stuff all over the place. And a lot of it's uh, just kind of stacked up because they don't know what to do with it. Now I've been there, I don't know how many times in the past month or so, and I walked in there, and I saw this thing coated in dust. So we had obviously been there for quite some time. And somehow I didn't see it every time that I've been there. Unless dust just forms that much in that place. But I, I walked by it, stopped, turned, did that, did I just see, holy crap I did, grabbed it. Ran to the register, bought it, got to the car, and just stood there staring at it for a minute. Because I don't think I've seen one for sale in a while. The other funny thing is that I had just measured everything out, how my shelves would be, how they would, and I was like, okay, I'll have this over here, this system over here, and had it all lined up and ready. And then I went and found this little beauty. Now, it's upside down, but... Four ninety four. So I paid four dollars and ninety four cents for an Atari fifty two hundred with Baga oh. Two controllers. No power cable, but luckily enough it is the two controller one. So that means I only have to find the the power plug, which I'm gonna go back and look for tomorrow not the power plug and that stupid RF box. And worst comes to worst, I found them for like 15 bucks online, so if I spend 20 bucks and I get a working uh, 5200, I'm, I'm just stoked. So, yeah. Uh, that's it for pickups, I think. Unless I got something else and I didn't realize it. But... Yeah, so I'll be busy the rest of the week. Um, gonna be building the shelves. Hopefully that should be done sometime tomorrow, and then I'll be able to uh, show you guys what it looks like. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we've got the wood, we've got everything. We have to cut it, paint it, and then install it. Make sure everything sits right. Wire all the systems up, and then make sure everything works. So I've got a busy day. Uh, I'll let you guys go. As always, play on!